Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Patreon podcast. This week, I wanted to b- talk about building out your toolkit, um, which is, I could have sworn that I talked about this at some point in the past, and maybe I did, but I looked through the old episodes and I didn't find anything by this name. Um, and really what I wanted to talk about with this is just like making your life easier in the future. So I've been working on my small game, Raise the Dead for Fun and Profit, And one of the big things that I've been doing is I've been going through and I've been updating all the tools that I use and I've been creating new tools as well. Um, And this gives me the opportunity to essentially just reuse things. So I I built a system where I could like pull external values from a text file and I built a system that allows me to better manage like swapping between scenes like the, the gameplay scene and like a menu scenes and all this stuff like that. And just like building all of these little components that I can just drop into a game that gives me the option to build things and iterate on ideas much faster. Um, And this isn't specifically just limited to game development. Like you can do very similar things with music production by, you know, building an instrument that you like and then saving that as a preset. Um, Or... I don't know how it translates as much into like physical painting, but you, like building brushes would be a good uh, analog for digital painting where you can have like certain brushes that you like to use. So you set them up and you just can have them ready to go right when you need them. And like these are so valuable for me um, because they allow me to have an idea and then just just slam something out there as quickly as possible to see if like that actual idea when it's realized is is any good um and i mean like i like i said i think earlier when i was talking about building the game in 48 hours like a lot of the tools that i used um were reused from other things like the grid system i built when i made death drives a bus in 2020 and i reused that in pandemonium last year Um, and it's just like all of the, all of these tools that I made, I'm still using and reusing heck the audio system I'm using is the one I built for color jumper back in 2016. Um, and I don't really need to change it. I update it sometimes when I learn something new and I, and I make sure that, you know, it, it fits with the system. But for the most part, what I make, I just kind of tuck away into a folder and when I need it, I just copy paste it into a new project and then it's all there and it all works. And I think that that's just really, really valuable. Excuse me, because it, it, it reduces the friction between having an idea and, and realizing that idea because all of the boring stuff like building menus and building audio systems or like loading instruments or you know like all of that stuff is is friction between the the process of you having an idea and actually getting it out into the real world and the more tools you have the less friction you have to experience and I think that that's one of the most key and most valuable things that you can keep in mind while you're working because it's so easy to get wrapped up in the minutia of fixing problems instead of actually creating the ideas and realizing those ideas. Um, So yeah, I, and like, obviously everybody's experience is different with this because there's no real silver bullet that, that solves everybody's problems. If there was, that person would be a millionaire, but like when you are making something and I'm notoriously bad at this with music, but when you are making something and you make something that you like, save it, save it in a place that where you can like come back to it and and reuse it. Um, with music, this is something that I really need to do more of. Um, like there are a lot of like bass instruments that I've made in the past where I'm just like, man, that sounds great. And then I have to go back and I have to actually load up an old project and copy and paste it out of that project. Whereas really I should be saving those into a folder somewhere so I can just be like, I need that saxophone that I used in, in the moon seems unaffected and I can just drag and drop it in and then it's ready to go. Um, so that's something that I need to be a little bit more aware of. Uh, in the future. But I think that this kind of approach to creative processes is really valuable. I mean, a part of this could also be considered like your template, like what you use when you open up a new project and how you kind of drop the same things in there every time. Well, why not just make a thing 
and then just have everything in there already. And all you have to do is copy paste that thing into a new project. Um, you could do, I, I, I think I can do that with unity as well, where I can just have, you know, an empty project with nothing in it, but it has all of those modules that I use all the time, like a initializer class and the, the audio handler and like a basic menu handler and all that other stuff. I should really do that because that would save a good hour of work <laughs> every time I want to start a new project where I'm like, oh man, how do I get this set up again? How do I initialize this? And it's just like, no, I just copy paste the, the template folder and you're good to go. So I think I'm going to look into that a little bit more. Um, yeah, aside from that, I think that's pretty much it. I just wanted to get this out there because this was just a really important topic for me. And like I said, I'm kind of surprised I haven't talked about it before. I'm pretty sure I have just under a different name. So, you know, we're at a, what, episode 180, 170 something. So, you know, I think I'm allowed to repeat myself a little bit now. <laughs> um, but having said that, I hope that you have a fantastic Friday and a wonderful weekend. Um, thank you so much for listening and thank you so much for being a Patreon supporter. I really genuinely do appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you in the next one. Be remarkable. <laughs>